Hello, I'm Dr. Ola Kammerdiner. Welcome to Discrete Event Simulation course. This is lecture 3. What is simulation? I will talk about more simulation by hand and simple queuing system. Queuing systems. Simulation is used to study queuing systems. Queuing system is a system in which items called entities may need to wait in line, called queue, to be processed. There are some examples of queuing systems. For example, in the manufacturing system, we might have parts moving around the workstations, and they wait in line or queue to be processed. Simulation by hand. Each team will participate in two activities to allow us to experience first-hand queuing systems. Activity 1. We will simulate a line into a club. And in Activity 2. We will simulate lines into men's and women's single restrooms in a convenience store. The task is for each team to do Activity 1 and 2. Each member will wait in line, enter, leaves, and so on. This way, each and every one of you become a simulation entity. Individually, each team member is responsible for collecting and recording his or her data. For example, times when they got in line or entered the queue, the time when inside or seize the resource, and the time they got out, for example, release the resource. Also, left the air the system. So here's simulation by hand. After each team does this, the team together gathers all individual data, shares them, and combines the data together. The so combined data must be recorded and submitted as a team. In activity 1, line into a club. The task is for each person to individually write down your counts for arrival time or the time when you got in line, time entered club, time left club. You must record several sets of counts, all of them, if you went through the line multiple times. Each person must record any breakdowns if they occurred. So let me um, represent an example um, of activity one. So people join the club on the counts 3, 5, 5, 14, 17, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, and 25, while there is an available uh, member of the team. In other words, not the member that is already in line or in the club. And Person's time in the club depends on the gender. For the guys, it's two counts if there are no girls in the club when the guy gets in. Otherwise, it's four counts. And for the girls, it's six counts if there are no guys in the club when she gets in. Or otherwise, three counts. There will be a breakdown devil if on the count that is multiple to ten of 10, for example, 10, 20, 30, there are two guys in the club and so the fight breaks out and it takes seven counts to kick people out of the club and clean up before allowing uh, new people in and we will have a very important person a VIP entity who joins on the count in bold for example 20 or 23 that very important person or VIP entities will skip to the beginning of the line. Now uh, let us take a look at the example of activity 1 so you know how to do it. People join the line on counts 3, 5, 5, 14, 17, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, and 25. Let's start the animation clock. So 3 counts after we started the clock, Caleb arrives, he's a guy, he arrives at 3, he, the club is empty, he can right away come in, there is no girls, so he's gonna only stay there for 2 counts, and he's gonna leave at 5. 
So as he leaves, there are two more people arrive. So Nicole and Victoria both arrive at five. There are no guys because um, Caleb just left. And so they're gonna stay there for six counts and will leave the club at 11. Then from 11 to 14, there is nobody in the club. And at 14, Donnie arrives in the club. He's a guy, there's nobody there, no girls. He's only gonna stay for two counts and leave at 16. And then from 16 to 17, there's nobody there in the club. And finally at 17, Frankie arrives in the club, so there's no girls there, so he's only gonna stay for two counts and leave at 19. Then between 19 and 20, there is nobody in the club. Uh, actually, at 19, uh, Christine arrives. And so Christine arrives at 19, and there is no guys there because Frankie just left, and so she's gonna stay there for six counts. And she's gonna leave at 25 but um, before she leaves at 20 there are two guys arrive they uh, um, they both arrive at 20 and Zach becomes a VIP entity he can skip at the beginning of the line but he's already at the beginning of the line so he comes in and so does Cody they come in at 20 and they because there is a girl there they were supposed to stay uh, for four counts and stay there till 24 but they stayed there and there were two guys in the club and the fight um, happened so we can see that there's a breakdown devil so seven additional the seven um, counts will take for things to clean up and uh, then then Derek who uh, gets in line at 22 arrives to the club at 22 he can come in because they're cleaning out the fight that happened between Cody and Zach and so he can only come in at 27 and because there is nobody there he's only gonna stay for two counts and he's gonna leave at 29 so now let's take a look at the activity 2 so activity 2 we can assimilate lines to the restroom and the task is to for each person to individually write down your counts and as our data including arrival time that's the time when you got in line and also the time when you entered the restroom and which restroom you entered whether it was the um, male restroom and female restroom and the visit type was at number one number two or both <laughs> and also time using the restroom time when you left the restroom and store and you also must record several sets of counts, all of them, if you went through the line multiple times. Each person must record any breakdowns that happen. So here's the rules for activity two. Convenience store has two restrooms, men's and women's restroom, and each designed to be used by a single person at a time. We assume separate lines, ladies use a women's restroom, W and guys use men's restroom M. Only one person using the restroom at a time, and assimilation will run until count three. So we're joining two lines. The guys join their line on counts five, ten, and fifteen, and so on, and ladies on counts six, twelve, eighteen, and so on. We're gonna flip a coin twice to decide. Uh, whether it's number two, number one, or both that the guy or a girl needs to do. So we have two hands. Uh, we actually don't need to do that. Just um, decide what what is going. This is just a simulation. <laughs> so two hands um, is going to be number one. Two tails is going to be represent uh, both number one and number two. And anything else 
other, uh, in other words, um, tail and head or head and tail, it's going to be number two. So based on what you're doing in the restroom or simulating in the restroom, the time using the restroom is going to depend on the gender. So for guys, it's one account to do number one, um, two counts to do number two, and three counts if both. And for girls, it takes longer. They probably also look in the mirror a little longer um, and maybe wash their hands a little more carefully. I'm just kidding, of course. So the girls are going to take four times, um, four counts to do number one, eight counts to do number two, and 12 counts if both. And we might have breakdown level uh, when three people in a row use the same restroom for number two or both. And then if that happens, the toilet clogs and it takes five counts to unclog it. Now, let's take a look at example of activity two. So we'll illustrate how to do the activity two. We have two lines to men's and women's uh, restroom in the convenience store and joining two lines are guys on counts 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And also separate a line for ladies that come and join the line on counts 6, 12, and 18, um, and so on. Remember we run the simulation to 30, to count 30. So let's go ahead and start the clock, but before we do that, let's also recall um, how the times depend on the gender and the activity. So for activity one, we have this, for activity two, and then for both, um, we have these times here. So now that we uh, recall that, let's go ahead and start the simulation. So on count five, um, a first guy arrives and the restroom is empty, so Caleb um, arrives at 5 and he right away comes in because the restroom is empty. We can assimilate to figure out what he needs to do there, so the two coins that we um, tossed came out head and tail, so that represents number 2. And it takes two, as you can see in the timetable, it takes two counts for a guy to do number two. So he's going to be there until seven, and at seven he gets out. But before he gets out at seven, and a person comes in um, to a women bathroom, right? So Nicole needs to use a women bathroom. She comes in at six. And even though Caleb was using the men's bathroom, but the, she needs to use the women's bathroom, which is open, so she right away comes in at 6, and we can simulate to figure out what she needs to do there. So we have two hats, which represents number 1. So number 1 for a woman takes 4 counts, so she'll going to be there till 10, and then she gets out at 10. And as she gets and exits the women's bathroom, another guy's come, guy comes in and joins the line, which is actually empty, and so the men's bathroom, that's Donnie, he comes in at 10. Uh, let's simulate to figure out what activity he needs to be doing. So it's head and tail for Donnie, that's number two. He needs um, to stay there for two counts. So he's going to be exiting at 12, and as he exits, another girl arrives, and there is no line to women's bathroom, so Victoria comes in and enters the bathroom right away at 12. Let's simulate to figure out what she needs to do there. So we can see two heads as a result of the experiment. That represents number one, so she's going to be there. Um, doing number one for four minutes, four counts, and so she's going to be there till 16, count 16, and before she exits, there is another person that comes in, but it's a guy, so Frankie arrives at 15, he needs to enter men's bathroom, so he uh, goes straight into the men's bathroom, because 
Donny, Donny already exited at 12, so he comes in at 15, and we can simulate to figure out what he needs to do, and that's tails and head, which is number two, so he's going to be there only two counts, uh, but he's also, he would be there till 17, but he's also the third person in a row to use the same bathroom for number two both. And guess what happened? The bathroom clogged, clogged in. So there's this little breakdown devil, so it takes five uh, additional minutes after he used it to clean out the mess. So he comes out um, at 22, he finishes at 22. And before he finishes, there's other people that come in so another lady arrives at 18, that's Christine, she comes in at 18, and even though Frank is still in the men's bathroom, but the women's bathroom has been empty since the count 16, so she comes in right away, and we can simulate to find out what she needs to do, it's tails and tails, so looks like she needs to do both. Well, great for her, she now is gonna stay there for 12 counts, and well, would come out at 30 but before she comes out and before F Frankie comes out either another guy comes in at count 20 that's Zach he would have came in would have liked to come in at 20 right away and enter right away but instead he's staying in line waiting until the bathroom gets unclogged and so He's going to enter at 22 after the bathroom has been unclogged. And let's simulate to see what Zach is going to be doing. Well, Zach uh, looks like he got tails and head, which means he needs number two. And number two takes two counts, so he's going to be leaving at 24. Um, so after 24 till 25, there's nobody in the men's restroom, and there's nobody in a line, and then at count 25, Cody comes in. Um, he comes in at count uh, 25, and he. we need to simulate to figure out what he's going to do, and he got head and tails, which means number two, so it means he's gonna stay there for two so he's gonna come out at 27 and then Derek um, comes in on 30 just as uh, Christine comes out and from 27 to 30 there is nobody in the guy's bathroom so Derek comes to at 30 but our simulation only runs at 30 uh, to 30. We still know what Derek is gonna do. Derek, um, right after we simulating it, we see that it would tail tail, which is both, and so he would have been staying there for another three counts, but we finished the simulation at 30. So he would have been getting out 33, it's just after the simulation uh, time clock runs out. So that's an activity two and now you can do activity both activities one and activity two each in your team. So in each in your team for each activity you need to do it as a team and everyone individually right need to write down their individual data and then combine all individual data for that specific activity double check for errors, record data in the common file, and submit it as a report. Keep in mind, these activities um, will be useful for your lab too. Great!